Uh, yes, we have his name. We have everything about him. And we equally have uh, the person that lodged the complaint because uh, uh, on the 7th of March, 2000, uh, what do you call it, uh, March 2017, one Alaji Nasiru Abimogaji uh, reported the matter that uh, Kuburat, the wife of uh, Apoche, land. Uh, and uh, what they, uh, and the, the name of the, the person is Abubakar Muhammad of Sabu area of uh, Ilefe. Uh, we have been mindful of reeling out uh, the details of investigation uh, in the public anyway, but to clear uh, uh, doubt and uh, any ambiguity, that's why it is important to let people know. We have his record, we have his name, and we have everything. That, but up to now, we don't know whether he's among the dead or uh, is, is still missing because the people that were killed were mutilated, some were burned, and uh, it's not too good saying this on air. Was it declared wanted by the police? Was it declared wanted by the police? Uh, before you declare somebody wanted, it takes some certain processes. Uh, uh, we cannot declare such wanted uh, because of the circumstances that is involved in the matter. Uh, because if somebody is alleged to have committed an offence, there are processes you follow before you declare somebody wanted. All right. Of those who uh, Mr. Show uh, says were arrested by the Oshun State Police Command, could you tell us were they part of those of 18 who were released or found not to be culpable? Uh, thank you so much. The Assistant Commissioner of Police in charge of investigation, State, which I don't want to mention his name, like I said, is equally Yoruba man. He's the one that led the investigation at the initial stage. Uh, the people that were arrested from Oshun State uh, were, were all brought into Abuja. The, the, you know, it's just Nigerian, one Nigerian police force across the country, whether it's Oshun State Police Command, whether it is uh, Cardinal State Police Command, whether it's Lagos State Police Command, is under the same Nigerian police force. And the intervention force equally work together with the Oshun State Police Command in carrying out a thorough investigation into the matter. So the people that were initially brought for the arrest, all the arrests were not made in the same day. Like I told you, some were arrested from Ibadan, some were arrested from Lagos, and some were arrested for other communities that are very close close uh, to, 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 to Ife, and uh, that all these people were, were brought in into Abuja, and further investigation was carried out. It is wrong for anybody to say we screen uh, uh, people who are outside extraction or people who are not Yoruba out of it. No. If they were properly investigated. Uh, you, during the course of investigation, you have the right to, to give us your alibi, where you were, and what happened. And uh, it's, it's equally, I'm, I'm happy that I mentioned that people were arrested with axes, and those axes are not meant for those that they, they, somebody can use to split wood. Like I said, some of, some of them were arrested in their houses with, with, uh, with, with, with a dangerous weapons that were used in the commission of the crime. So were even arrested with looted items and uh, what they call goods from uh, the, 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 the shop that were destroyed. So if anybody has committed an offense, which is part of what we are investigating, we arrest the person. So as the case is now, if the Affair Ferry have any data to those people who are from the other extraction that were involved in the matter, they should make it available to the police. Anything they, they have. They should make it available to us. We're still going for that to ensure that anybody that is involved is properly rounded up. But we have the belief that the, 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 the outcry and the media trial is to ensure that further arrests are not made because as we speak, there's still some people that we have their name uh, we have their name because we work on, pro, uh, we work on actionable intelligence that were gathered during and after the crisis of those who, who, who participated in, in, in the crisis. Just so in here, the uh, uh, as you just uh, made, uh, made, made it clear to us that uh, those arrests were done in Oshun State. Now the bone of contention seems to be why have you taken over the case and taken it to Abuja? Couldn't you have allowed that case to proceed because it has already started in Oshun State where you trust that your men who are in Oshun State who represent one Nigerian police force would have continued and carried out these investigations to a meaningful conclusion. Why did you not allow that to happen? Uh, thank you so much. Um, you, you know, like uh, in the initial press uh, statement we issued when we made the Diplomacy of Intervention Force, we made it clear that there's an investigation part of the team that was led by a commissioner of police under the supervision of Deputy Inspector General of Police for CID. And the headquarters of the force, uh, uh, force CID is in Abuja. And uh, outside that, Nigeria is one country. 
uh, if, if something is happening in Ife, because people were unable to interfere with police investigation. Uh, that, I think uh, that, that, that is the reason why you see this outcry. And that is why the investigation is brought into Abuja, to ensure that the investigation is thorough. Preliminary investigation were carried out, people were arrested, and people were equally, we have people that say, this is the people that are involved, this is the people that are involved, on both sides. And these people are arrested. So people that are not found caught, caught people, as I've said earlier on, among the 18, were the people free? Like the Afeni Ferry spokesperson was saying, uh, b b b people that were equally Yoruba were, were equally released, that were not involved in the matter. You won't say because somebody is a, is a Yoruba man, is not involved in the crime, you are going to indict him. Or somebody is an Asa man, is not involved in the crime, you are going to indict him. The police have the responsibility of investigating somebody. If it's not uh, caught people, if there's no any prima facie evidence to take into court, you, 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 you release him. And that is why all those 18 people were released unconditionally. So we, we are doing a thorough job. I will continue to do this anywhere such crisis happen in Nigeria to serve as an effective deterrence to others and to let them know that the end of impunity has come. No to impunity. Uh, nobody, no group, no association will say because it is done anywhere and uh, people go scot free. They, they know. The Inspector General of the Police have said that impunity must stop. And this is why we are prosecuting these people. All right, we need to go to break in a moment, but uh, he says, Afeni Ferry, trying to whip up ethnic sentiments, which is unfortunate. Do you agree with that? No, it's absolutely a matter of regret. I would continue to regret the position of the Nigerian police force on this issue. When people are saying that, look, two communities are involved in a clash, and you are effected arrest from both communities, they were transferred to Abuja, and you screened out one community from it, and then paraded the other community is also involved in the right. clash. That's where we'll take it from when we return in a moment. Join us again. Well, Mr. Mashud, I'm going to ask you very quickly, you know, in 30 seconds, how do you think that the police can address this crisis of confidence? No, thank you so much. Uh, we are doing this, and the IGP have directed the community engagement. Uh, you know, uh, outside the PCRC, we have set up the eminent persons forum, which I call on the grand notion uh, to reach out to the community. And these eminent people that constitute the traditional rulers, the uh, <coughs> various associations, the traders, the artisans, the farmers, and also. And if you watch recent events like in Kogi, uh, we have uh, uh, this same group that are going uh, to getting courtes, uh, to renounce courtesans, and it's going. So it's working for us. So we're engaging the public more because the public is the basis of our policing. Uh, because if you look at priority for policing from community to community, it differs. Uh, you might think it's armor or it's classes of this nature, but you might be taken aback because what is the crime con of concern there? Divas, what is crime of concern in Ife, for example, is different from what is crime of concern in, in, uh, in Ekiti State and uh, probably in uh, Calabar or, or probably in Kano or, uh, or in Lagos State. So we're engaging the public because that's the way uh, we should go. And we had this success because of the engagement. The traditional ruler with high respect to the of IFE, uh, um, well, 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 with its management. They cooperated with the police force. The state government in Australia, they call it cooperated with the police force. And that is why, uh, if I have time, uh, we want to encourage Afeni Ferry to join police, to, to join the police force in, in ensuring that justice is done in this matter. Well, that's, that, that, I'm afraid that of, that's where we'll of, have of, to leave it, of, Mr. 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 Mashud. <laughs> 30 seconds is up. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on Sunrise Daily. Mr. Uh, Thank your pardon. I'm Mr. Jima Moshud is the force of PPPRO. Thank you so much for coming on Sunrise Daily. That will be it from Abuja here. Thank you for watching. And Maokwe Ogun is back to you in Lagos now. Your concluding moments. Thoughts? Yeah, we have appealed. The Afeni Ferry has appealed to all Nigerians to live peacefully. And um, we, we do not want any want to attack anybody. We all have a duty to live peacefully. But the police have a duty to ensure that proper and thorough impartial investigation uh, is carried out because that is the only thing that can lead to diligent prosecution and successful conviction of people who have committed crimes in uh, IFE. But it's quite unfortunate and we will continue to re regret the fact that till now the police have not been able to arrest those culpable, you know, of causing this crisis at IFE, you know, who happens to be of northern extraction. The same police force who failed to arrest 
people, um, Fulani men, ex men, you know, committing crimes all over Southwest are the same pol uh, police force who are also investigating this case. So it's quite a matter of regret. Okay. We need to change our policing and change the orientation of the Nigerian police Mr. Shomi. force. All right, Mr. Bion Shomi is the member of the media committee of Afeni Ferry. Thank you for coming on this morning.